So I was just randomly scrolling across Google and tier list when I came across this, which is ranking major UK railway stations on a tier list. So, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video. And today, as I just said, we are ranking the top railway stations in the UK. So, the tiers we have for this video are outstanding, as in absolutely brilliant, there's nothing better. Very good is like, yeah, very good, it's better, but it's not as good as some stations. It's alright, you're casual, good station. What the hell is that? As in, basically, it's an absolute mess, what's going on, the security system's a joke, and then I've been, never been to that station before. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video, a little different video, but I haven't got any idea what I'm doing with videos at the moment, so here we go. So we're going in alphabetical order, we have the other uh, stations that we're going to be ranking are Birmingham International, Birmingham Moor Street, Birmingham New Street, Birmingham Snow Hill, London Blackfriars, Brighton, Bristol Temple Meads, London Cannon Street, Carlisle, Charing Cross, Chester, Clapham Junction, Crewe, Derby, Edinburgh Waverley, Euston, Exeter St David's, Farringdon, Fenchurch Street, Gatwick Airport, Glasgow Central, London King's Cross, Leeds, Liverpool Central, Liverpool Lime Street, Liverpool Street, London Bridge, Manchester Airport, Manchester Piccadilly, Manchester Victoria, Ma London Marlebone, Newcastle, Nottingham, Paddington, Penzance, Plymouth, Preston, Reading, Sheffield, Shrewsbury, St Pancras International, uh, just St Pancras, Stratford, Victoria, Waterloo, Watford, Watford Junction and Wick, Wolverhampton and York. I'm not sure about Wick, but we will see. So, starting off with Birmingham International, I have to put Birmingham International into very good. They're a, it's a great station with lovely facilities, the staff are unbelievably nice there and they know exactly what they're doing and if you are ever at Birmingham International, you always know where you're going because the signals, the signs are fantastic. Birmingham Moor Street, uh, I've never been before, uh, I've heard good things about it, so very old, old, nice, uh, old fashioned station. Birmingham New Street, it is also going in as very good, it is very good, so many friendly staff there, really nice people there, uh, loads of platforms, loads of trains, great for train spotting. Birmingham Snow Hill, I've never been, London Blackfriars, uh, I've been, and I have to say, it's between it's alright and very good, uh, I'm gonna put it in very good, because the, it's quite nice, the last time I went there at least, that's all I can say, I can't really remember much. Brighton is, it's alright. Last time I went to Brighton it was packed because there was a football match on which I went to. Uh, very busy. Uh, the security system's alright, there was so many cancellations though. Brighton Station, if you're ever going, there's so many cancellations because the line is so like up above ground. It's, uh, it's always a bit dodgy. Bristol Temple Meads, absolutely outstanding. The station building is beautiful, that's all I can say. Lovely 15 platforms, the train spotting is amazing, you've got everything, you've got cross country, uh, you've also got I think transport for Wales, you've got GWR, uh, uh, I've said cross country, and I think that's it, but I could be mistaken. Oh, and I think you might, I oh, know, that's it. Uh, London Cannon Street, I've never been, Carlisle, I've never been, Charing Cross, uh, it's alright. It's very small, it's very small for a major train station. It's quite nice though, there's a load of facilities. Well, last time there were loads of elephants there, so that's something. Chester is... I... No, I've not been to Chester. Clapham Junction I've been, it's alright, it's, it's normally absolutely chaos. But it's quite nice, there's loads of tracks, fantastic for trains. No, actually, it's actually very good. Because last time I went to Clapham Junction, it was, um... It was, it was very busy, loads of trains, but loads of freight trains going past, uh, which was quite nice. Crew, I've never been. Derby, I've never been, but I will be going in the future. Edinburgh Waverley, I've never been, but I've heard fantastic things about it. London Euston uh, is very good. Um, last time I went to Euston was, I can't remember, I think it was to Liverpool when I went to see family and friends. Very nice station, very busy, loads of trains, loads, uh, great for train spotting if you're allowed on, loads of good facilities and yeah, and lovely station stuff. Exodus and David's is absolutely, it's, it's between outstanding and uh, very good. I'm going to put it in very good, a good grief, <laughs> having a load of very good stations. Uh, actually, no, I am actually going to put Exodus and David's into, uh, 
it's all right because last uh, the last time I was there, which I think was in Cornwall because we stopped over one night, I think. Uh, there were lo the staff weren't very friendly at that point. They were in a bad mood, so it kind of just drops it a bit. But apart from that, if the staff are in a nice mood, they always uh, are. Farringdon, um, it's kind of it's kind of between these two. It's kind of it's kind of bottom. It's bottom of it's all right because Farringdon is absolutely chaos. There's only two platforms. There's one, they're both, one is the high speed, uh, one is the Thames Line and one is the Tube Line. It just doesn't work for me. That, I just, does not work. Fenchurch Street, I've never been. The Gatwick Airport, at the moment, goes into what the hell is that? Because last time I was there, it was chaos. You didn't know where you were going. The signage was appalling. It was going to the Brighton match. All the trains were cancelled. They were redoing Platform 5 and 6. It was just chaos. That's all I've got to say about it. Glasgow Central, absolutely outstanding. The station building is beautiful. You've got so many different operators. Transpennine Express, Scott Rail, Caledonian Sleeper, uh, HSTs you've got there as well. Absolutely stunning. London King's Cross is at the very top of very good. The only downside is it would go into absolutely outstanding if the signage was better. The signage is not as good as it should be because you don't know where platforms 1 to 9 are and then platforms 10 to 19. It's a bit confusing. It's just a little bit to add on. Leeds I've never been to before. Liverpool Central uh, I've been to before. Liverpool Lime Street, very, um, very top of... It's all right, simply because the last time I was there, it was gridlock. There was a football match going on, and I didn't know where I was going. The st look at the start. The staff were really good. They were really knowing how to sort of. They were knowing how to direct you to your nearest place you were supposed to go, which is really good. London Liverpool Street. I've been to. Uh, it is the bottom of very good. Only downside about London Liverpool Street is that the McDonald's next to it was chaos and you can't sit down in there. So we had to, so we abandoned and we went to Paddington McDonald's, but we still couldn't sit down there. So we had to sit in front of a crowd of people eating McDonald's. Not very pleasant. But apart from that, it's a beautiful station. Great services, great staff, great facilities, everything you need. London Bridge. Oh, I don't really know. London Bridge is in between very good and it's all right. I'm going to put it at the bottom i'm gonna put it just above liverpool street but behind actually euston is like about there so it's in front of london blackfriars london bridge is massive uh one downside is when i'm going to see my grandparents in bexley they stopped services going all the way through to charing cross it only goes to london bridge that i don't know why they did but hey manchester airport i have never been before uh, manchester piccadilly uh is at the very top is at no is at the very bottom of outstanding it is absolutely beautiful the station building the facilities the train spotting you ha it is the perfect just but it's not as good as bristol temple means but it is superb you know where you're going great staff great train spotting great facilities that's all you need to know next stop is manchester victoria i have never been before uh london marlebone uh goes at the bottom of oh it's all right not as no platforms there absolutely cares you don't know where you're going actually no it goes in it goes in what the hell is that it's just this remember this is my own opinion and i know it says in the title ranking uk major stations but i've never been to these stations at the bottom here marlebone is it's just not they need to build more platforms that's all i've got to say it goes above gatwick but they need to oh I, why is it not going okay it doesn't there we go. Marlebone, they need to build at least three more platforms. Six platforms is not enough for the hub of Chiltern Mainline. Newcastle, the last time I went, I can't remember what it was like, but I, it's definitely, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely about here. Newcastle was very nice. I just can't remember what was there. Nottingham, I've never been before. Paddington, my nearest hub, is absolutely stunning. It is at the ve it's the second, but it's, I mean, I might be a bit biased here, but Paddington is absolutely stunning. If you've ever been to London Paddington before and you look at the roof, which is 
sort of, which is always lit up. That is just unbelievable. You've got Paddington Bear, 14 platforms. You've got the Night Riviera, which is fantastic. I am going on that soon. So that will be a lovely trip with you. Great facilities, great staff, great people. You know exactly where you're going. You've got so many signs to the tube, so many signs to the Elizabeth Line. It is fantastic. Penzance, the last time I was there, it was, it was all right. Yeah, it's all right. Only downside is... Is that there's not many trains apparently according to some pe some people is that there's not many trains at penzance to the once there once was that does bring it down a bit if there was more stops it would definitely be at the bottom of very good it is in front though it's definitely in front of exodus and david's plymouth i have never been preston i have been uh it was actually very good bottom of very good so when i was going to blackpool uh, very nice station building, great signs, great staff, great facilities, and it's always fantastic for train spotting. One downside is, is that there is not, it's not very good signage to the platforms. That's all I've got to say about it. It's not fantastic for the platforms. Reading, which is sort of my nearest station on this before. Um, I mean, I don't really know where to put this. I'm not going to comment because I think other people might have different. It goes at the bottom of Alps are uh, very good. Uh, it's a lovely station. Uh, you've got so many you've got so many uh, operators there. You've got Cross Country, GWR, South Western Railway, and I put importantly the Heathrow bus rail link, which is quite nice. Uh, Sheffield, I have never been before. Uh, Shrewsbury, I've never been before. St Pancras International is absolutely stunning. It is stunning. The roof above St Pancras is gorgeous. Whoever builds it is fantastic. Along the side of St Pancras, there's some stores. They're always lit up in gold. They're absolutely beautiful. You've got Eurostar, which is beautiful for train spotting. You have got literally everything you want at St Pancras International. Uh, Stratford, I have been before, and it was absolutely chaos because it was West Ham versus Everton. It goes at the bottom of It's All Right. Uh, there's not much to comment. It's not very good signage. It's it's a nice station, but it's just not very good signage. That's all I've got to say. London Victoria, I don't know what to say. I have to put London Victoria sort of in the middle of very good. The only reason why I'm putting it in the middle of very good is because um, last time I was there, it was the day was the, when the Gatwick Express was actually shut. And I think it was all just chaos because staff didn't know what they were doing and then it all just sort of hit back. Uh, Waterloo. Oh, the last time I went to Waterloo was a very long time ago. I'm oh, I'm not putting it in. What the hell is that? It is quite. It's it's very good. It's sort of at the. It's sort of in the mid. It's sort of like rear of Waterloo. Uh, sorry, it's yeah, sort of rear of very good. It's got very good tube facilities. You've got so many tube lines there. Fantastic for uh, in uh, direct services like Weymouth, Exeter. That sort of stuff, so pretty good. Shros uh, Shrewsbury, I've never been. I've put that already. Watford Junction, I've been to. Oh, I can't even remember what it was. Like. I'll just put it in. It's all right. I know. Actually, no, I'll put it at the bottom of very good. Wick, I've never been. I really want to go one day. Wolverhampton was very chaos. Um, I personally believe that Wolverhampton is a good, it's a good station. Last time I went, was going to Blackpool again, but it was so delayed. And the signage was awful. The... The departure board only showed page two out of two instead of page one out of two. It only showed page two. Something had broken. That did a noise because we didn't know what platform we were at. York is is at the is above Reading, and actually no, it's actually quite far up. It's definitely in front of Victoria. York. The only thing I like, the really big thing I like about York is the curve that goes through the platform. That is what stuns me so much. I absolutely love the station. So many services. It's the last time I went there. The trains were horrifically late. They were like over two hours late, uh, which sort of brought my mood down a bit. But it'll do. So that concludes my tier list. If you have any suggestions, oh hang on, let me like this. There we go. If uh, if you have any suggestions, what you think I should change, please let me know in the comment section, and I will try and do my best. But other than that. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next video.